But before I got to that place, I probably left it about six different times total. And just like that, freaking Monday was here. <laughs> I'm changing up my morning routine a little bit today. Um, since I've been wearing my hair curly, I'm showering first and letting it dry. And then writing and then drying it. See how that goes. I figure less blow dryer time. Um, better for my hair. Less getting ready time. Better for my writing. Um, I haven't done movement, so I feel a little bit out of sorts. I'm looking forward to the days when I'm coming home and can get outside and run. It's very, very cold and still very, very snowy. Snowy is okay, but minus six million is not. It's got to be like at least minus four million six hundred and ninety one thousand two hundred and sixty four. Then I'd run. But not minus six million. No way. Do what you wanna do. went on to compare how ideas are kind of like new coke and but before I got to that place I probably left it about six different times total once to cut my nails once to probably have a piece of cheese once to I don't know I got up and that is typical um getting ready to kick this day off and feeling a little bit more energetic so I've chosen Camilla she's more of a kick-ass yoga type instructor than Shiv <laughs> Shiv is gentle and she usually does a lot more easy exercises and Camille is pretty intense so I woke up and I'm like well I think I can do something pretty intense today so I've chosen Kundalini yoga for strength and vigor Let's get strong, people. Let's do this. Looking forward to Valentine's Day tomorrow. And I don't know. I, I think it'll be fine. It's just like, it'll be like tonight. So. <laughs> I'm gonna love all over myself. And Valentine's Day is a lot associated with food. I was thinking to myself today, oh, it'd be nice to get some chocolates. And I'm like, hell no. It'd be like a big epic fail. <laughs> I thought I would treat myself to a little ball rolling. And this may seem like it's not really a treat, but it is. Just taking the time out to be like, okay. I'm going to give myself an amazing massage and I'm gonna listen to awesome relaxing music and that is going to make me feel like I'm at a spa. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm not sure where I've heard this in the past couple days but I wrote it down on a post-it. I probably heard it either in You're a Badass at Making Money or on a podcast. But it's find out what makes you feel good and do more of that. So that's what I'm doing. This makes me feel good, so I'm trying to do more of it. I guess I didn't really need to say that. It's pretty obvious. When you sit down and think about what makes you feel good, um, you may find that your list is a little bit shorter than you would like it to be. So then you'll want to get a little bit creative with some things that maybe you think might make you feel good. And those may be in the creative realm. Self-expression is a big deal. Um, it's just not so much about having, you know, to share it and express it but it's more of a journey into learning who you are and what makes your life zesty and it might inspire some ideas to help um, you figure out 
what to do. That's the equivalent of ball rolling for you. So, I don't know, it might be yoga, it might be burning candles, it might be making your house really beautiful, um, might be decorating, might be buying plants, painting, drawing, lots of things. I think that's what most of us are on here, a mission to live our dream lives. The best way to do that is to do the things that you love and to create the space. So not to overfill life with stuff, but to leave space and time to just receive and to be clear. So I'm doing a little bit of yoga for constipation this morning. Um, even though I'm, there's low carb, no carb diet is a wonderful thing. It's not so wonderful for my digestive system. It's Thursday, it's February 15th, it's the day of a solar eclipse, it's the day after the day of universal love, and onward and upward. Vlog's all about whatever. I'm a virgin, I have to say. Oh. Virgin virgin. How does it feel to lose your vlog virginity? To be vlogonized? Yeah. Uh, liberating. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. It's like, you know, liberating, I like it. That's a, yeah, I do too. What's going Girl on? power. That's yeah, Deanna's like, what? What? <laughs> Do you want to stand on the table and sing? Do you want to be in the vlog? I am. She didn't get the mustard I am in the vlog. and straight. Deanna's like a, yeah, she's a natural. No. It's gonna be alright. I keep proving. Do I have to tell you? This music is beautiful too. All I really need to understand is I'll be alright. Because you know I'm all about that. Like 4,000 years old, but he looks like he's 40. 